Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to resize your product images so they look the same size. I'm also going to show you a couple of different ways and a little ninja hack that a lot of people don't realize their theme template can actually resize these for you also. Now, before I get into that, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. A lot of people say they're Shopify experts, but I'm actually registered through Shopify as an expert in the platform. There's not many people in the world that are Shopify experts. There's not many people on YouTube that are Shopify experts. And the websites that I've built have had over $100 million go through them. So with that being said, let's get into this video and I'll show you how to resize these images. Now, theme templates, they all work differently, but some theme templates actually have the option to do this. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you're in the main menu of Shopify, you go online store themes. If you can't see online store, you click sales channel, online store, and then there should be a button here to pin it here and then click theme, themes here. Now, if you go to the customizer in your theme, a lot of themes, especially lately in the last year, have been adding this feature to their themes where it can auto resize all the product images. So there's a couple of different spots where this normally is. So if you go theme settings, and then it might be under like product cards or collection cards. There might be a little section that says resize images and stuff like that. Or you might have to go to your uh, collection page here. And then there might be a button on the left here where it says product grid. And then if you scroll down something under like product cards or have image ratio, and you can actually select what ratio you want. So see how that actually changed the size we wanted or we could do a portrait if we wanted to, or adapt to image. So normally the reason why uh, these images are all different is because your theme template is set up to adapt to image. Now, if your theme template doesn't have this option, then you might have to do a couple of the other options that I'm thinking of that I'm gonna explain in this video. Uh, also, sometimes like this option, so let's just say you're on the home page and you click featured collection here, and then you scroll down to the bottom, there might be like a section where it says change it here as well. So there's heaps of different spots that this could actually be in. Uh, but what I might do is if you can't find this option in your theme template, let me know in the comments and I'll double check to make sure your theme template has it or not. And I'll let you know in the comments as well. Um, because some themes don't have it, a lot of them do these days especially a lot of them that are in the Shopify theme store will have that feature. Now, a couple of other ways to do this is you could use an app to do it, but I don't really recommend using an app anymore uh, because I used to use an app a lot of the times before this feature was in lots of themes. And what sometimes happens is, especially since I seen a client come to, come to me that had done this. So what happens is on the apps you run uh, say 2000 products through the app that so resizes all the images. Now, what can happen is when you update to a new theme template, it messes up all your images and, and this resize feature won't work properly. A couple of the things won't work properly. So that's why I try to steer away from using apps. Now it's always best to resize them yourself manually. How I'm going to show you this, this way where the theme template does it 90% of the time it will work properly. Now, what might happen is if you have a thousand products, it might work correctly for 950 products and some theme templates, I don't think I said this, but some theme templates have an option to zoom in on the product until it fills up the whole space as well, which looks really nice. So sometimes if you have a thousand products, 950 products will work perfectly through this resize feature in your theme and 50 won't. What I recommend if that happens to you is you manually resize 50 and just leave the rest because it's a very daunting task to go in and, and manually resize a thousand products. And a lot of people watching this video probably have like a hundred thousand, 10,000 products, and they're looking for a solution on how to fix this. So what I normally do is I actually use this thing called Pixlr, but I'm gonna quickly show you another way that you can actually do it through Shopify before I get into Pixlr. So if you go to products here and then you click on the product here, <clears throat> you can actually go down to the image here and then you can click resize 
and then you can actually put in the ratio you want it to be and lock the aspect or you can manually do it so see how it's manually resizing it so i unlocked it so this is actually a square image now and this would work uh, on your website and it would be square if you wanted to do it and then you press done you can also reset it so it goes back to normal and press done if you make a mistake so you can actually do it that way the only issue of that is sometimes on certain types of product images it'll look extremely weird if you resize it like that so that's why this next option is normally the best way to do it but you can do it this way as well so if you go to a platform like pixlr pixlr.com backslash editor backslash i might have a link in the description for this as well you can come to a page here and you can create a new image and what you want to do is you want to make it whatever size you want it to be for the whole website so for example a square image might be 800 times 800 uh, your theme most likely will have documents saying what size is the best size if you leave a comment what theme you're using i might be able to get documents or something like that or copy paste or paste in a comment where it says that um, but a lot of the themes have documents on what sizes work really well uh, so you can check that out as well we're going to do a square image so 800 <clears throat> by 800 and create it's now created this image here what we're going to do is we can drag an image from our desktop into here or we can click uh, this little plus and then image and download it from our desktop but i'm just going to drop it in from our desktop add current now it's taking up too much space so if we just scroll back a little bit here we can actually resize this so we can click and hold and move this around if this is selected arrange so we can click these little but button and make it smaller like this and then move it into here and then zoom in so what's probably happening here let me just make it full size so the reason why this isn't working this image isn't working properly on our website is because it's not a full square also i made this image on place it on a different video on gift card video that i made if you want to make an image like this i'll leave a link to the video uh, how to make a gift card and how to how to go to place it uh, and make an image like this so the reason why is not the same size as a square so what we could do here is is click layer and then we want to color match the color of background so we can click uh, this picker we click here it tells us the color code that we used and then we can use a paint tin to paint it there so now it's all the same color we prick we press file save and then png and then save to our computer what we also could do <clears throat> is we could resize this so if we click arrange and then we click on this image what we could do is make it the same size as this whole square here so see how i'm pulling it and now it's the same size as this whole square and we can move it over this pixel also tells you when it's exactly center center so see those little purple lines there this means it's right in the center so we didn't have to actually uh, put the color background there as well and we can put different layers and turn them on and off here as well if we wanted to so you could put a little icon in the corner there if you wanted to so let's just say i wanted to put uh, another little gift card there i could make this a lot smaller zoom in a bit and see how i now have it in the corner there like that yeah like that so i've put the gift cards in the corner if i wanted to turn that off i just go here and unselect there uh, just for whatever i'm just going to leave it there and then press file save png save as gift card example for example uh, desktop save here and then if we go back to our Shopify website, we can actually add the image here. So I'm gonna pull it from another monitor, drop it in here. And then I'm gonna move it to the main image. So this is always the main image. You can move these images around if you want. And then if we actually go back into our, into our website, so online store, customize, and then we go here. Voila, we now have 
the same size image here. So that's basically how you resize your product images. Uh, let me know if this was valuable and it helped. Uh, this was one of my most popular videos I made years ago. So it'd be interesting to see how many people still need this in 2024 and beyond. Um, but yeah, I've been making lots of videos, tutorials, basically teaching you everything about Shopify. Your comments on what videos you want next really help make this channel uh, awesome. So I really appreciate people that leave comments and let me know what they want to see next. So until next time, hopefully this helped and have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.